Today's lesson is about tritone substitution. So in, in order to do this, we have to know what a tritone is. And a tritone is basically a musical interval that is uh, six half steps uh, between the pitches. Uh, so we're starting with a C. You count up one, two, three, four, five, six half steps. And you find the interval of a tritone. I teach students to hear it by thinking of the West Side Story song, Maria. So, there's also The Simpsons. Um, think of it as six half steps works. You can also think of it as uh, two minor thirds stacked up. That's the outer interval there. Um, and it also divides the octave perfectly in half. We have, uh, in Western music, we have 12 unique pitches uh, in the octave. And uh, cut that in half and you have six. You have the tritone away. Um, <clears throat> it was also known as the Devil's Interval in um, Baroque, uh, in the Baroque era. Uh, mostly because it sounds very dissonant and jarring, um, separated like this. And it was less pure and less sacred sounding than the more consonant intervals that the church liked, like fifths, and octaves, and thirds, etc. Um, now, a tritone substitution is when you replace uh, an existing dominant seventh chord, um, let's say G7, and you replace it with a dominant seventh chord uh, that's a tritone away from that chord. So you see G flat, uh, G7 becomes D flat 7. And that only works because the two most important notes in a dominant 7th chord are the 3rd and the 7th. And they form that tritone that I was just talking about. It gives it its, its identity and uh, all of its color and tension. Without these two notes, it's not going to sound um, as, as much like a dominant 7th chord. Um, and it's going to have less uh, richness to it. Um, now, the 3rd and the 7th of a G7 chord here happen to be the same 3rd and 7th uh, from the chord of tritone away, which is uh, D flat 7. The role of the notes just change. Um, B is now the 7th uh, of the chord, and F is now the 3rd of the chord, whereas they were 3rd and 7th before, now it's 7th and 3rd. Um, next thing is to apply this to a chord progression. So let's take the very simplest form of a 2-5-1, which is jazz's most common progression. D minor 7, G7, to C major 7. All right, now we're going to add a tritone substitution for the uh, G7 chord. So instead of this, we're going to have tritone away, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so it'll be this. And you have smoother motion in your bass, just half step descending motion in the bass. And a more interesting sounding progression. Okay? Uh, that's the basics of it, and you can do that in any of the chords, uh, any of any key, and you can uh, you can spice it up a little bit too. Um, I'll play just a, a, a version with slightly um, more sophisticated voicings. Instead of... So practice that uh, until it is comfortable, uh, just the basic concept of tritone substitution, uh, and then from there um, I'll get into uh, some more options and some more advanced techniques um, with tritone substitution. This here is just the tip of the iceberg, um, but experiment with that and uh, see what comes out. Good luck!